In this video, you will learn how to create a module in D2L. Modules are the backbone for helping students navigate content in your D2L course. After you log into D2L, go into your development course and click on the content option on the left side of the navbar. You should now be in the table of contents area if your course is empty. Click in the add a module area on the left side of the page and type in your module name. I'm going to call mine module one. Press enter. That's all there is to creating a module. To create another module, click again in the add a module field and type in the next module name. I'll call mine module two and press enter. You can continue this process to create the main modules for your course. If you would like to move your modules around, click and hold the grid of dots to the left of the module name. Drag it and you'll see a blue line appear above or below other modules. Move the module up or down until you see the blue line in the spot where you'd like the module to be located and then release. Once you have created a module, there are options for working with the module, including editing or deleting it. Click that module one name under the table of contents. In the top center of the page, you should see that same module name with a drop-down icon that displays actions for module one when you hover your mouse over it. When you click this drop-down, you will see several options. If you would like to change the name of the module, click edit title. If you used something like week one or module one or unit one, give it a more meaningful name that will describe what is contained in the module, such as module one dash linear equations and press enter. If you create a module that you decide you don't want to use, you can delete it. I'll click module two and then again using that same drop down menu beside your module name, there's an option labeled delete module. Next, you'll need to choose whether to keep the associated files in your course or to delete all associated files and activities with the radio button. I didn't have any associated files or activities, so I'll just leave it on the keep option. It's usually the safer choice. Last, click the delete button at the bottom left. Now we've covered the basics of creating a module, moving a module, editing a module's name, and deleting a module in D2L. 